Mexican I have today with me, Tasha. And Tasha's here because uh, she's a former collegiate athlete, track and field, and she injured her back um, back when she was in college doing sports. And now from occasion, time to time, she still has some tightness and pain in her lower back. So she's come here for help and we're gonna do everything we can to fix her up today. Additionally, she is, as of recently, she's a music producer, so she gets a lot of tightness in, in her shoulders and her neck, probably from being on the computer a lot, probably from always straining and looking down. So we're also gonna work with her muscles of her neck, make sure everything's in good alignment, and uh, get her feeling good. Um, I also want to note that if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do so. Uh, we're definitely looking for more subscribers. And if you like this video at the end, please like, comment, and share. All right, you ready to get started? Yeah. All right, let's lay face down. Facing the come here, arms on the sides. I've already done Tasha's examination in the examination room. Uh, she's very healthy, 20 years old, so no major issues. Uh, a couple things out of alignment, some areas of tightness like we talked about, and we're gonna work on those areas and we're gonna get right into it today. Yeah, feel that in there? Move around, yeah. Okay, that's when the kind of the muscles, the tendons, they can, all the tissue starts to stick together, we call that adhesion. So we're just gonna work to kind of break that up a little bit. If the pressure's too much, please let me know. I'm actually gonna use just a little bit of this tool today and just glide along here to help break it up gently. Good. Again, if it's too much, just let me know. Mm -hmm. This just smooths out the tissue, breaks up any uh, adhesions, like we said, where the tissue sticks together. We're also gonna apply some range of motion as well to get it moving correctly. We, when we checked Tasha's range of motion, um, she had a si significant reduction in turning her head to the right as opposed to the left. So we're gonna address that today and see after the treatment if that's improved some. Um, I'm sure it will be improved. Whether it's gonna be completely normal after one treatment, we'll see. Sometimes this requires multiple treatments, but we're gonna get as much done as we can today. Still good, Tasha? Yeah. Okay, good. Okay. Now next, what I'd like you to do is just take this arm and just kind of Push over your head like this. We do that a few times. You find yourself nice and slow down here and then up. Good. Keep going. Excellent. Three, two more. Nice and slow. Good. Excellent. Good. 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 This one I want you to come up. All right, so with Tasha, a lot of her, her pain is centralized. Um, so we're just gonna make sure that everything's in the right position. I can already tell that she's rotated to the right and her hips are in the lower spine. You can see that this side is kind of raised compared to the, the right. When we check the leg length, she's not too bad. She's a little bit off. When we bring them up, it's even, okay? So we're just gonna work on facilitating some motion between these joints here, remove any restrictions before we do our adjustment and get everything into good position. A lot of the glute muscles, the piriformis muscle ties into this, so we're gonna work through those muscles as well. Good. Excellent. Good, relax. Okay, now we're gonna do a little bit of percussion. And music, so this is like a drum. <laughs> Kind of feels like a massage. Yeah. And this percussion helps to, again, loosen up the tissue, but more importantly, bring some blood to the area. We get more blood, more oxygen, better healing. Use these blocks today to apply a little pressure to lift up your hip on this side and just come right back down. You're going to feel like a little bump there. We're going to do the same thing on this side. Then back down. And we're just going to stretch and extend her over these blocks. Help to open up some of those joint spaces. You okay with this pressure? Mm -hmm. Good. Alleviate some pressure on the disc of the lumbar spine and the thoracic spine. Good. Next, you're going to feel the table lift up. What we're going to do here is we're going to work to get this hip into better alignment in the lumbar spine to remove some of that rotation. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be 
be applying a lot of the force to that left side to help balance out the lower back and the sacrum. Good. And you're going to see this one. Okay. Slide that through. It's like this. Now, it's going to feel like you're going to fall to the floor. <laughs> I promise you will not. I haven't dropped anybody in 16 years. So okay. You're not going to be my first. Okay. You're going to relax. You're going to come over. I'm going to rock you a little forward. Good. Good. Excellent. Flip on to your side. No problem with that, right? No problem. Cool. And we're going to do the same thing on this side, just a different area. Slide forward. Good. A little more. Like that. Good. Same thing. We're going to slide this through. Oh. <laughs> That's okay. There you go. I'll position you. A little bit higher here. Perfect. Excellent. Wow. I haven't had my back <laughs> in a while. All right. Uh, you know what? You're in this position. Slide down. Cross these arms like this. You're going to give yourself a big hug because you've been doing such a great job today. <laughs> and then I'm going to give you a hug. Take a deep breath in. And all the way out. Let it go. Good. And again. One more time. Let it go. Perfect. All right. Now, relax your arms. Good. And slide up a little bit and you can relax your legs. Okay. When I palpated Tasha earlier, a lot of her tension were, was in her shoulders, her trap muscles, across and in between her shoulder blades. Not too much in her neck, but the neck does tie into this because of the way the the muscles attach and the way the joints move and how the nerves descend. So we found a couple of areas of misalignment that we're gonna fix for you today. Just relax your head. Good. Come all the way over. Good. Excellent. Okay. Good. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. A little bit higher on the side. Excellent. Good. Cool. And then we're just gonna apply a little bit of distraction to open up the joint and disc spaces. You okay with this pressure? Mm -hmm. See, a lot of times when you're working on the computer a lot or looking on your phone, you carry your head forward and it feels like your head's just so much heavier than it is. <laughs> yeah. So what we're doing here with the adjustment and this, this pull, this distraction, we're just alleviating all that heaviness on your shoulders and neck. Sit up, please. Face it this way. Head up, just like that. And we're going to come right from the lower thoracic spine all the way up. Pressure, okay, right? Yeah. All the way up. And what we're doing is we're telling these, these receptors in the, in the nerves and the joints. This is where we want your head, your shoulders. You spend so much time probably with them forward. Yeah. Work. You want to kind of re educate them. Re educate the nerves. Turn your head to the left. Good. And now to the right. Good. So you feel, see a difference? You're, you're pretty much normal now when you were about able to go halfway before. Mm -hmm. and what I do want you to do is tilt your head to the left and now to the right. Good. And back. Good. Excellent. Good. Okay. Last thing I'm going to do is we're just going to stand. Uh, have you stand up and check your posture. I want you to stand right here facing that way. Okay. Arms right sides, feet together. And we want to make sure that we removed as much of that rotation as we could out of we're going to do a little more, so keep your feet planted. Okay. And what I want you to do is I want you to turn from your hips as far as you can go this way. Keep your head in line with your chest like you're doing. And like that. Perfect. Hold that position. And I'm actually going to stretch you a little bit more over the hips. And the same thing, we're telling the brain and the posture muscles and the nerves. We want you more balanced. Before we Stand straight again. Do me a favor, take a couple steps in place like you're marching. Good, now stop. Near perfect, it's almost there. But I think we did as much as we can today. Um, you can have a seat, Tasha. Mm -hmm. So how'd that go, how'd that feel? Oh, good. Good, excellent. So we addressed the lower back, we addressed the neck and the shoulders. You should feel a big difference with this. Again, it's one treatment, um, so it's gonna have an effect. Uh, if it's still bothering you, more than welcome to come back for treatment. Otherwise, if it's feeling great, then you're all good. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Good. You're welcome. All right, that's all we have today. We'll see you next time.